Good morning and welcome to another Daily Thought video. Um, as I said yesterday at, in the service, in the sermon, um, we're going to take a wee break from doing the Daily Thoughts on our daily reading, um, our church reading plan. I would still encourage you to keep going with those. Uh, I'll still be doing them in my own uh, Bible time each day. Uh, but in this week leading up to uh, Good Friday and, and Easter Sunday, we thought it would be a good idea to spend some time in these final chapters of Luke and to look, final chapters of Luke, and to look at these, uh, at a few of the names of Jesus which are mentioned there. Um, and we'll just work through them one each day, um, looking at the story that surrounds uh, the giving of each of these names of Christ. And the first one this morning is uh, taken from Luke chapter 20, uh, following on immediately from the triumphal entry that we were looking at yesterday, and it uh, is cornerstone that Christ is the cornerstone. Now to set this in in context, Jesus has uh, just cleansed the temple. Do you remember all the leaders, the three different groups, the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, and the leaders of the people um, all wanted to kill him. And we're all looking for a way to kill him. And then in chapter 20, they come to him and seek to trap him in his words. They ask him, whose authority do you preach under? Um, is it does your authority come from God or, or does it come from man? Jesus doesn't answer them. And then he gives them this parable. Uh, Luke chapter 20 and from verse 9. I'm not going to read the parable. I'm going to read the verse uh, that he quotes from Psalm 118 and then tell you the parable and how it fits in and, and joins together with Jesus. So the verse I'm going to look at is in verse 17. Jesus looked directly at them and asked, then what is the meaning of that which is written? This is the quote from Psalm 118. It says, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And that's the name of Jesus that we're looking at today, cornerstone. And so to, to understand what Jesus means by this, we have to look at the, the parable that he teaches. And he says in this parable, tells the story of, uh, the tenants, the parable of the tenants, he says that uh, the master has a vineyard and he's going away on a journey and he lets the vineyard out to tenants to tend it and look after it and to send him uh, fruit at the harvest time. Um, but the tenants go rogue, they stop respecting the master and so he sends a servant to them to correct them, to bring them back in line. But they mistreat that servant and send him away empty handed. And then he sends another servant and they mistreat that one and they mistreat another one and they mistreat another one. And eventually the owner of the vineyard thinks, I've had enough of this. I'm going to send my son. Surely they'll respect my son. If I send my son to them, then they'll respect him and they'll come back in line. But the parable says that when the tenants saw that the son had come to them, they thought, aha, this is our chance. This is the heir. If we kill him, then the vineyard will belong to us. And so they took the son, they murdered him, and they threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? Well, then the owner of the vineyard will come. He will kill those tenants, throw them out of the vineyard, and give the vineyard to others. This is a parable that Jesus is telling, saying this is the history of Israel. This is what God has done. He has constantly sent messengers to you, his servants to you, and you have rejected them. You've not listened to them. Some of them you've mistreated. Some of them you've killed. And now he sent his son to you. And you've rejected him. And you will kill him and throw him out of the vineyard, as it were. And Jesus is saying that this will not be the end. In fact, this, what's happening here is that you will re reject this stone. You will reject me, Jesus is saying but that God will then make me the cornerstone. The cornerstone being that first stone that was laid on the corner, laid very carefully that the whole of the rest of the structure was built upon and governed by. He said, I am the cornerstone that's spoken about in Psalm 118. The builders have rejected me. The vineyard, the, the Israel has rejected him, but he has become the cornerstone and on him the church is built. He's our foundation. He's our everything. The stone that the builders rejected 
has become the cornerstone. And so as we approach Easter weekend, as we remember Jesus being rejected and beaten, we have to remember, beaten and killed, we have to remember that this was the part of the plan. This is what God intended. He knew in Psalm 118, when it was written by David, that Jesus would be rejected, that he would be killed, that he would lie in the grave and that he would rise again and that he would be the cornerstone of the church, a new foundation for the people of God. And it's in that that our hope is placed. Well, I hope that's been uh, some help this morning and it'll help you this week as we reflect on all of these different names of Jesus uh, to prepare for uh, celebrating Easter together. Um, so let me now pray as we, as we close. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for who you are and for what you've done. We thank you for your eternal plan unfolded from the beginning of history. Father, we thank you that even in David's day, you knew that you would send your son into the world to be born, to live a perfect life and to die on the cross, to be rejected by, by human beings, rejected by your people and killed. And then that he would become the cornerstone of the new people of God, that he would become our cornerstone. Father, please help us at this day to live for you, to give him glory. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.